Okay, so let's continue with more examples. One thing that will help you under this chemical and balancing chemical equation is practice more. Once you are able to practice more examples, it will help you to have it at your fingertips. You can actually look at an equation and just balance it by inspecting. That is after you have practiced. So let's look at sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. And this is a base and this is an acid. We'll come to that. But this type of reactions are called neutralization reaction. So our sodium, we are supposed to predict the product for this. So straight away, what you start first, you have to break them all the compounds into their in constituting ions. So our sodium is a group one element. So this is plus one. Our OH is a is a polyatomic ion. So that's OH minus. So OH minus, if you come here, our H is group one, so H plus. Then our chlorine is group seven, so Cl minus, because they have accept one. Now I said, I said just as the magnet, negative takes positive, positive takes negative. You don't have positive taking positive. So here, this positive will not take this positive, but this positive will come and take this one. So it will give us, the one and one will cancel. So we are getting get we are getting sodium chloride. Then this OH minus here will pick this one, and this is two of the so H2O will give us plus H2O as the product. So we are getting NaOH plus HCl giving us sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. And water. Now we have predicted the product, we have to balance it. Let's see. Our sodium here is one. Sodium here is one. Oxygen here is one. Oxygen here is one. Hydrogen here, we have one here. We have five. Hydrogen here is two. Hydrogen here is two. Chlorine here is one. Chlorine here is one. So this equation is balanced. Always check before you balance, else you might end up balancing an, an equation that's already balanced. So make sure you are checking. Check the numbers. So that's why we write them here, write them here to check if it is balanced. Because some teachers sometimes would be practically give you a, an equation that's already balanced and have you just messing it. So just make sure that it is balanced. So this equation is balanced. Let's take more examples. We have this one. Calcium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid so first thing we are predicting the products so first thing you break all the compounds down into their individual ions so this one calcium is two plus oh is a polyatomic ion so and it is oh minus in our previous one we did that so oh Minus. If you come here straight away, H plus Cl minus. Now we are, we are coming to pair them. Plus will pick minus. So chlorine, calcium will pick chlorine, the chloride here. OH will pick hydrogen here. So this and this, it will be calcium chloride. The two will come down the chlorine like this. So Ca, this way, Ca, Cl2 plus this H and then the H. You have your H2O. So this is also a neutralization reaction because it's forming salt and water. Now we have what we call CaOH. Now that we have predicted it, let's now balance HCl as calcium chloride to plus H2O. Now let's balance it. So let's see. Um our calcium here, we have oxygen here, we have hydrogen here, we have chlorine here. Of course, it will be the same number of atoms, the same kind of atoms that will be present on the right hand side as the product. So we have your calcium there, we have your oxygen there, we have your H here, and we have your chlorine. We want to check if this is balanced or not. Calcium here is one, oxygen here is. This, these two affect both hydrogen and oxygen. So oxygen here is two. Now 
hydrogen here first we have this two here and then we have this one here so hydrogen here is three chlorine here is one then when we come here calcium is one chlorine here sorry oxygen here, in, this, in this order rather oxygen here is one um, hydrogen here is two chlorine here is also two now hydrogen calcium is one here it is balanced oxygen is two here oxygen is one here it's not balanced so it means we have to multiply here by two if you multiply here by two this is where the oxygen is at so you put your two here when you put your two here there's a new changes here there's a new change here um hydrogen now becomes four so instead of the two we are having four here instead of the two we are having four here and then chlorine you multiply here by two if you multiply here by two chlorine becomes chlorine becomes two here and two here so you put your two here now when you put your two there chlorine and hydrogen are balanced i hope it's clear there's the new hydrogen here when you put the two for the oxygen realize that this, the hydrogen became four now you put your four here you realize that hydrogen here is three so you left that and then you went to the chlorine because there's the same place the chlorine is hydrogen is here chlorine is here. so you need that there's two here and there's none here that's three so two here you multiply here by two when you put it here you realize that the number of chlorine hydrogen here will now be four so one here one here two here two here four here four here two here two here this equation is balanced just by introducing a two here and then a two in front of water let's take another one i believe my people are following zinc and hydrochloric acid so zinc we learned that it's a transition element with only one charge so zinc is two plus zinc zinc is two plus hydrogen is plus chlorine is minus so zinc plus will pick the minus here we are going to get the two will come down so we are getting z and c l then the two will come here then the h plus that is left is always unstable so it has to go and deposit as a stable form that's the gas and i said the gas is h2 hydrogen gen so two so yes h2 now let's balance it let's let's write it all over again and balance c z n plus h c l giving us z n c l2 plus h2 so z n is one here zn is one here hydrogen is one here hydrogen is two here chlorine is one here chlorine is two here so straight away without breaking it down you can just see that you will put your two here and it is balanced so you have predicted it the product and you have also balanced it take note remember that to really predict the product of a particular reaction you have to first break down them down into their ions and then the positive picks negative, negative picks positive, and then it gives you the product. Let's continue with more examples. Potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. This is also this is a base, and this is this is called neutralization reaction. This one will form salt and water. So first of all, our potassium is plus. We break them into their ions. Our OH is minus. Hydrogen is plus, chlorine here is minus. And I said plus or pick minus, minus or pick plus. There's no way you are getting plus, picking plus. No, positive and positive cannot pick. Take note, please. So the product is this or pick. This is potassium chloride, KCl. And two of the H here and then O. So H2O. So plus H2O. Now let's balance the equation our k is one our o is one our h is one two two chlorine is one 
on the right hand side, that's the product. Our K is one, our O is one, our H is two, our chlorine is one. So straight away, this equation is balanced. You don't go waste your time without checking. Once you don't check by this to know it is balanced, you will end up balancing an already balanced equation and you waste your time. So always make sure that once you have been able to predict the product, you check the number of atoms in each compound to know if it is balanced or not. Let's take another one. Um, we have, okay, we have sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So to, to predict the product, you, same way, same procedure, same approach, you have to break them down into their individual ions. So we are having sodium, that is group one, so plus one. This one here is a polyatomic ion, so the charge is OH minus. If you come to this one, H is plus. And this one here is a polyatomic ion, and it is SO4 two minus. So once you now broken them down into their ions, this plus will pick the minus and this two will come down. So this will be like sodium and then the two and then the SO4. So this is Na2SO4. Then this is two of the H and then also H2O plus H2O. So that's the product for this one. We are getting NaOH plus H2SO4 giving us Na2SO4 plus H2O. That is water. So let's now see, let's now balance this one. Um, our sodium here, our oxygen here, our hydrogen there, and then our sulfur. We just list them like that. So sodium here is one. Oxygen here, we have one oxygen here, and then four oxygen, so that is five. Five. Hydrogen, we have one here, and then we have two here. That is three. And sulfur is just one. Now let's come here. Let's list our sodium. Our sodium, our oxygen, our hydrogen, and then our sulfur. Sodium here is two. Oxygen here is five. Four here, one here. Hydrogen here is two. Sulfur here is one. So this is one, this is two, this is five, this is five. O oxygen is balanced, five here, five here. Hydrogen is three, hydrogen is two here. So this and this are balanced. So let's quickly look at our sodium. Our sodium is two here and it's one here, so times two. So you put it here like this way. Once you put the sodium here too, it affects the O and it affects the H. So the new H here is two. So two H, so the hydrogen here, two of this plus two, this is four. And then oxygen here becomes two of this plus the four becomes six. So when you come to the other side, sodium is two. Sodium is two here. Oxygen is five. Hydrogen is four. Hydrogen is two here. Straight away, we can balance the two easily. So you multiply here by two. If you put the two here at where hydrogen is, here is four. So this is four. And this two here affect this oxygen. So this now is two, two oxygen plus four. This is six. So here is six. Now the new oxygen is that this is two plus four, six. And uh, hydrogen here is four. So you can check. Now sodium here is two. Sodium here is two. Oxygen here is six. Oxygen here is six. Uh, hydrogen here is four. Hydrogen here is four. Sulfur here is one. Sulfur here is one. So 
this is how we balance. So you put two here and you put two here. So my cherry cylinders. So today we've learned about how to balance chemical equation. We, we, are, we, let, we learned a few technicalities and a few strategies and how to, to make it easier. We, have, we, have, we said that um, the gases, that the nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen are always in their molecular form. So O2, N2, H2, and so forth. We said chlorine and all that. We said once to really make sure that the equation is really balanced, you have to make sure that the, the number of atoms on the left-hand side, that's the reactant, is always equal to the number of atoms on the right-hand side. And you have to check it. All you ought to do is to practice more. Practice more both at school, at home, find some questions on chemi chemical equations. And pre we also learned about how to predict the product of a chemical reaction. Sometimes some questions will give you a passage with all those compounds in there. And you are supposed to predict the, the product of the reactions before you can even do your calculations. So now that we always have in mind that you have to check the ions, that the ions of all the compounds that come together, break them down into their individual ions, and then pair them according to the plus and then the minus rule, and get the products, and then balance. Catch you same time. Chill the...